Hi guys, welcome back to Tracy K Reacts. I'm Tracy K. Uh, today we're actually going to be checking out Struggle Jennings, God We Need You Now. This was requested by Ol and Zane. Sorry, I had to look at my notes. Ol and Zane. Um, I, I told this person that I've, I've heard this song. It's been a while, but I have heard this song and they didn't have a problem with that. So we're going to check it out anyway. Um, before we get started, if you will, hit that like button, if you like the video, um, comment down below, let me know what you think about the video, and also subscribe, hit the notification bell, that way every time I post a video, if you're interested, then you will, you'll know first. So, let's go ahead and pull this up, it is, like I said, it's Struggle Jennings, God We Need You Now, and I don't know if um you guys have ever ever heard of his stuff before but he is amazing and i don't know why my thing disappeared sorry that's why i slowed down for a second i was like where's my where's my logo down here okay um but yeah i love struggle jennings He's such a talent. His voice. Oh my gosh. Oh, and this also features um, Caitlin Curtis. All right. Sorry about that, y'all. Let's get into this. So in case you didn't know, those were clips, news clips from, um, we'll just say the Summer of Love is what they called it. Yeah, those were new news clips from that. I'll rewind a little bit back and uh, we'll, let's just go back. <clears throat> the world getting crazy, baby, chill. Don't medicate, just meditate. You waking up now, well, baby, you hella late. Educate, look at what's going on, let it resonate, accelerate. Find your inner hunger like you never ate. Agenda is to push. That right there, that line gets me. Find your in your inner hunger like you never ate. Um, I think that that's happening now. I think people are starting to kind of wake up to the crazy and the hypocrisy that we see. Um, and I think that, like he said, uh, meditate, don't medicate. That's one of the issues we have in this, this society. We, we run from problems or we pretend like they don't happen or they're not an issue or we're not affected by it. I don't know about you guys, but I have, I have friends who, you know, if you, if you start talking about anything with politics or social issues, they just kind of go, oh, well, you know, that doesn't affect me or I don't, I don't know. I don't care. But some of these things we, we need to care about. And, um, you know, it's those people who kind of hide away from it and pretend like nothing's going on. They're the ones who are going to be in shock <laughs> when something does happen. So, um, yeah, eventually, eventually, uh, things, things catch up to you and you are affected by things. So. Let it resonate, accelerate, find your inner hunger like you never ate. Agenda is to push the hate, separate and segregate. Don't celebrate quite yet, the storm is coming, cue for heaven's sake. Violence that they demonstrate, instigate and penetrate. The values of our country and our God is what they desecrate. My fighters ain't no featherweight, pulling out the seams of the fabric that they fabricate. They feed us lies, manipulate, intimidate through fear and force, forcing us to sit and wait. Till we come together, congregate, and then we liberate. Praying that you give me strength to find some love. I love that because, you know, this song is all about, you know, God, we need you now. Um, and, you know, you want to talk about Christianity and a lot of Christianity is turning the other cheek and um, being meek, mild, but um, 
it's like forcing, he said, forcing us to sit and wait. And, you know, that, that, that's what I was saying with Christianity. You, you're taught to turn the other cheek, to step back. And, but there, there comes a point, um, where you do have to, you do have to engage. You do have to face what's going on. But, um, I mean, it's not, it's not so wrong to sit back to an extent. That way you kind of get a view of everything in all directions. You know, um, it, it is better to sit back a little bit. That way, um, you can see the hypocrisy on both sides. You can see, um, the issues on both sides or, um, and you can kind of figure out what exactly you're fighting for and what you need to fight for. Um, so yeah, I like, I just, I love this song. <laughs> I love struggle. Um, I think in his wordplay, I mean, he's just really good. It's really good at what he does. So. Come together, congregate, and then we liberate. Praying that you give me strength to find some love amongst the hate. Marching on these streets of blood till I see the golden gates. Troubadour and troubled souls, one of God's servants. Blades out, cut the grass till we see the serpents. Oh, one day, I hope you see the truth. This puppet show stays on because of you. So yeah, um, first of all, Caitlin Curtis, let's talk about her voice. Amazing. Um, and I have heard people kind of, uh, I don't, don't want to say put her down, but they're like, oh, you know, that's, that's from, um, you know, uh, in the studio and, and messing with the sound and, you know, she doesn't sound like that. No, go check out her do this song live. She sounds exactly the same. She can hit every note that she hits in the song live. She's amazing. Um, but yeah, I this puppet show stays on because of you fools. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Um, now let me tell you, I will say it is hard. It is hard not to pick a side. It is hard not to become very passionate and outspoken and a little aggressive about what's going on. And I think that comes from frustration. You know, I don't think it's, I don't think it's, it always comes from a mean place. I think a lot of it comes from frustration. Um, you know, you want people to to wake up, um, but then again, you know, those same people, they're going to look at you and go, well, what do you mean wake up? Oh, you mean be like you. So it's, <laughs> it's hard. What's going on right now is hard. It's very difficult. Um, and it's difficult to, to be in the middle or to try to be a, you know, a voice in the middle to, to make people come together. It's so much easier just to pick a side but you know that's not it's probably not the right thing to do so uh, and her you know god we need you now and and come back home before we're too far gone um i'm really hoping you know that we don't get too far gone um yeah, as a Christian, I don't believe that you can be too far gone anyway. I believe that 
um, you know, you repent and you're forgiven. You know, if you, if you wholeheartedly repent, you're forgiven. Um, but I do understand what she's saying. And I do understand that, that sentiment, that, uh, that thought. Um, because, you know, I think it, I do think it sometimes I'm, I'm like, man, you know, there's just, there's no going back. Like, we're not going to, how are we going to fix this? How are we going to become better people? How, you know, so I do understand it, but I will say that, you know, I, I don't bel believe that you can be too far gone, um, until you're in that grave. I don't believe you can be too far gone. So, all right. Second verse struggle. Hit us with it. I know the truth is hard to swallow, just digest it. Suspected something's going on, but chose to just neglect it. Deflected by some breaking news, oh, we just accept it. Expected just to fall in line and follow their perspective. Don't question their objective, but I got a lot of questions. How these kids molested, but nobody's been arrested. Read it in the testament, these children are protected. So I'm fighting all these terrorists, both foreign and domestic. Refuse to be directed, lying out of sheep. Only kneel to my God, so I'm dying on my feet. Uh, Silence when we speak, but there's violence in the street. I've been rolling with the punches, I can't take it on the cheek. Uh, drink from That's exactly what I was saying kind of earlier. Um, you know, he said, I can't take it on the cheek. Because that is, that's what, you, that's what you're taught in the Bible. Turn the other cheek. But, you, like I said, you get to a point where you do have to stand up. You, you can't just lay there. Um, and... I just, I, I totally get where he's coming from. I, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard to try to figure out what to do. You know, do you become a voice? Do you become um, a voice for people or be outspoken about it? Or do you just stay quiet and um, not, you know, ruffle feathers more than they are? Personally, I just, I feel like as long as I speak from my heart, um, then I can't, I can't go wrong. So, not saying I'm not wrong, but I'm, I'm just saying I'm speaking from my heart when I do, do reactions like this. So, you know, please don't be offended by it. Just, you know, listen and try to see it from my perspective and and I'll try to see it from yours. I'm a glass half full, I'm optimistic. People are sadistic, so vicious and malicious. Praying for assistance to overcome my position. Or I'm gonna start resisting and then I'll pray for forgiveness. Oh, I hope you see the truth. This puppet show stays on because of you. Fuck
what did y'all think? Um, if you have not heard this song, I would, you know, I would love to know what y'all thought. Um, and I'm sorry, I started tearing up a little bit. Her voice just hits different. Um, I get that way. I don't, I don't know why. I've always been that way when it comes to music. Um, there's some certain songs, sounds I can hear, and it just, it'll like it'll, it'll make me tear up. It's not always, it's not even always the message. I mean, seriously, I've heard, I've heard songs that didn't have a powerful message, really, like just a love song or something, and just start tearing up, and it, and it's Celine Dion, Celine Dion. Oh my gosh. Uh, what is that song? The Power of Love? Yeah, I've teared up. I've teared up to that song. Anyways, <laughs> I'm emotional. Um, <laughs> but now I'd love to hear, I'd love to hear y'all's take on this and your thoughts, opinions, all that. Um, and I know that we have different ones. Um, and, you know, I think, I think I'm a little... I think I'm actually being a little careful what I say today because um, I'm starting to get more more comments and things from people and it's making me become more aware of my stance and how others feel and how they might uh, automatically judge me or think I'm a bad person because of my stance and it's and it's kind of um I don't want it to affect me though so I'm gonna be as honest as I can be on here or I'm gonna be as yeah I'm gonna be honest on here um and I don't like I said I don't mean to offend or hurt anyone in doing that um this is just this is me so anyways y'all take care have a good day I love you guys. Be safe. Bye.